Hi y'all, it's Stephanie from Southern Sky Tea and Garden DIY and I'm going to be out watering today and give you a little bit of status on and some video of how the garden is growing. So let's get going. So just out here watering the tomato garden and I also have lettuce growing. It's doing really good and we got to harvest a lot of lettuce and eat a lot of salads. <laughs> So just out here watering, and then also uh, the tomatoes are going really nicely. And uh, like I said, these are a blend of cherry tomatoes over here, yellow pear, beefsteak, and yellow pear. I'm sorry, and purple Cherokee. So there you go. And things are really moving along. And lots of sunflowers. And this is the giant sunflower that's going. That thing is about eight feet tall now. We have a six foot fence right there, similar to it. And that thing has got to be about eight feet tall now. We'll see if we actually get a flower from it or a couple, but that stalk is literally like an inch and a half or two inches in diameter. So there you go, y'all. Lots of things coming about here. I've probably got, oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just over a dozen tomato plants here. Went a little crazy. So I'll finish watering and take you over to the other beds. Cash, are you gonna help me garden? You gonna help me water? Maybe you'll just lick up some water. Or are you gonna go back inside where it's cool? All right then, you do your thing. Hi, Cash, you're back. Oh, it's his favorite part. Loves just getting in the sprinkler. Right, Cash? You love that cold water. You just get in there, boy. Oh, so sweet. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So, just checking in right now on my little herb garden. Not a whole lot of exciting things going on, but I've planted oregano that's finally taken off. And then that lemon balm plant that's right there was not doing anything and it's finally like coming in. Uh, all the cilantro I planted bolted and I haven't um, and flowered and I haven't taken it out yet. And I have a small little kale plant there with some other kale and actually a little basil plant that kind of inserted itself back there. So dill that also kind of flowered. <clears throat> anyway, I have my other little hanging baskets here of lettuce that's going nowhere, but I haven't planted anything else in those. And then, of course, the big giant lettuce bed. And I have some lemon balm there that I bought, actually, that I need to get in the ground. And there's all the lettuce going under there. And then, hi Cash, did you come out to say hello? There's the boy. Hi sweetness. Yes, he's bored. It's like 85 degrees, feels like 90, full sun today. So we're not going walking quite yet. So he's coming out and enjoying the sunshine now. Ah, sweet baby. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna come over here to the side bed off our morning room where the mint is growing and some spinach we've got lettuce that we've letting that we're letting go to seed that um like in this area right here in this pot i'm gonna just start pulling this out because i have some stuff i want to put in there i want to put some more squash in there so i have cucumbers over here and i already got like a tiny little cucumber going on that one so we'll see where that goes more um, cucumbers and squash plants all along here and uh, my husband Jason built these trellises for us out of the leftover fencing that we had, this green fencing, and some little one-by-one -one wood stakes that we got from Lowe's. So those are really nice, and they're coming in handy. So he built those. We've got a couple of larger ones, too, that I haven't used yet. <clears throat> the strawberries, I just harvested like another half dozen 
yesterday, see some going down in there again. I always harvest them before the redness attracts the birds. Got some flowers coming in over here. Should probably need to thin that out, but I'm gonna wait until things cool off tonight. And we have family coming up to town for three weeks. So I'll be doing things and filming the progress in between activities. But always nice to have family coming up. My mother-in-law and a niece. Can't wait to see them. Got some uh, acorn squash that started coming in here. And spaghetti squash is the smaller plant down the bottom. There's not a lot happening on that one. But I finally was getting some acorn squash there coming in. More squash plants. And then we'll just come over and check the progress. There's the main bed. You see green, green, green. But I have this going over here. Here's my round zucchini plants and the spaghetti squash. I haven't moved these pots anywhere, but they're 20 gallons. Some of them like the one with watermelon in it. So it's a big effort to move. So I'm just going to see where they go and what happens with these. That's the round zucchini squash that I have going there, and then spaghetti squash in the back. But it gets, um, right now, the backyard, it, we, our, our backyard, it faces west, and, I mean, our backyard faces east, and our front door, front yard faces west. So as the sun moves over, then there gets a little bit more sun along the fencing here. So. <clears throat> My husband thought that they weren't getting enough sun, but I'm like, well, they do, though. They just don't get the bright morning sun because of the fence. But as the sun moves, you know, west, then there's less shade over here. So I'll just see what happens with them, keep fertilizing them, and keep feeding them. We'll see. Got sweet potato going over here, and then the corn, and... <clears throat> The heads are a little small. We're still letting them go right now, but the heads were a little small, but it actually tasted delicious. We tried one of them the other night and it was nice and sweet. It's the sweet cream corn. Over within the corn though, you can see I've got a lot going. I've got like carrots down in there. There is a carrot down in there, you can see. And um, lots of like chives and onions I planted as fillers. There's a tomato that volunteered itself in there. There's another big tall one back in there that I haven't pulled out. And then there's these. I think this might be tamatillo. We had a lot of tamatillo in this area growing last year. And then when we ground things up too, it mixed our compost in the soil. No matter what we do, things still started growing in here. So this may be tamatillo. Anybody watches my videos ever, maybe give me a little feedback, but there's flower right there. So I've got to look up these and Google them. And I remember the leaves last year on the tomatillos got really like flea bitten, but it did produce a lot of fruit. So we'll see if that's what those are. And I will keep you posted because I'm also going to look it up and post it on my next video, see what they are see what they are. We've got um, the squash over here. Now we're over in the main bed. You can see a lot of greenery, a lot happening. Tomatoes, squash, zucchini, cucumber, peppers. Actually had some success back here with yellow squash. We did not have much success last year. We just tried and tried and we love it too. But we were getting squash bugs all the time. So they weren't coming in well at all, but we've got like two now, so just gonna keep fertilizing and feeding and watering, and hopefully they'll go. There's the one down in there. A tomato plant coming up in there also. <laughs> got more um, squash here. Oh, the dreaded squash bug. I can't kill that thing without a glove on. They just gross me out. I'm gonna come back and squash that sucker. No, you are not getting my squash. So you can see how we 
staked things up. I don't know if you can see that well, but we staked them up so that they're growing vertically. Oh, gosh, here's a lawnmower and people and a dog walking happening. But there's the sweet potato, sunflowers. We got a beet growing in there. Amazingly enough, I actually have peas still growing in this heat. So <clears throat> those are still coming in and they are delicious. I just pick them right off and eat them. And then um, I'll let probably several, some might go to seed again, although I got a lot of seed from the first harvest that I had planted from the spring. And then just dropped more down in the ground and they started growing again. So uh, I'll just harvest some for fresh eating and let some go to seed again and have more to plant. Here are the peppers. I'm already getting some jalapeno flowers coming on. And this is the poblanos. I don't have any flowers yet, but we'll see where that goes. I have a brown zucchini over here that's starting to take off and getting its first little round zucchini in there. Right down in there. Oh, it's blurry. But it's getting its first little round zucchini down in there. And of course, the cucumbers are, have, or have taken off. I've got several down in here that I have to harvest. Love them, love growing cucumbers. I don't, I can't even bring myself to buy them in the store once they start going. Got one hanging off the side there. And there's several growing down in here. And the bees were out in full force today pollinating, so looking forward to that. I've got another pepper plant down in here, more poblanos. Come around here. I always have to climb over my fence here without trying to kill myself. Um, and not say um so much <laughs> when I'm trying to climb. But we've got the sunflower it's over here, different variety. I can't remember the var variety we planted, but they have multiple heads and they're not the big giant sun the mammoth sunflowers. But they are pretty and they're bringing in the pollinators. Still got our beans going. Looking a little sluggish here though. So, looks like I'm going to be harvesting several for seeds. <laughs> Some butternut squash still going in there. This was like next year, like I said, I'll I'll spread things out a little differently and or isolate the beds to certain plants. I planted three different things in here and they all took off and went crazy. Oh, and there's a beautiful bumblebee doing its little love work in there. Hello, baby. Little fuzzy fatty. Love you. You do your thing, baby. More of our gray green zucchini squash going down here. Several going in there. The potatoes. I never grew potatoes like this before. These were regular white or red potatoes. So I'll have to research of when to harvest these. If I wait until the fall or we harvest them soon. Because they were actually already like flowering. I had a couple white flowers on them. They come and go. Big sweet potato bed. These we just buy from Lowe's every season, but they are wonderful. They grow great. They took a little bit of a slow start. Uh, they had a little bit of a slow start, but then they took off and now they're starting to vine up. And then, of course, <clears throat> more butternut squash going. The giant round zucchini plant I have going. There you go, there's another one coming in. That's a big melon. <laughs> but it's a zucchini. And lots of like the gray zucchinis coming in. We've grown them vertically, so we're still getting quite a harvest. So there's a few of them coming in in there. And then the tomatoes. So my Cherokee purple, the yellow pear, and these are just starting to kind of take off and flower. And then the beefsteaks, I don't know. I finally had to just go out and buy plants and they're still slow starting. I just don't get it. I'm just not having good luck with them at all. Oh, I'm getting bitten by ants. Oh goodness gracious, yowza, ouch. But there's my 
Oh, my first Cherokee purple's coming in, if you can see it. It's so beautiful. And lots of yellow pear tomatoes coming in. So, lots of growth coming in. And then I also had just bought this plant when I went in to get the beefsteak, and this is the Super Sweet 100 Cherry Tomatoes. So, awesome. But that's how the garden is taking off, y'all. And I'm going to sign off because I seem to be get bitten up by ants. It's really hurting me. <laughs> well, this is Stephanie from Southern Sky TN Garden DIY signing off until next time. See you all later. Have a wonderful Monday. And by the time you see this, it'll be Tuesday, but have a wonderful day.